a closer look at BCO after it has fallen into long-term range-bound trading. Double top potential near prior highs. As usual, watch the lower boundary of the temporary range near 3025. Classic start for a stronger downtrend from the first strong close under 3025. Major support from 2620 to oppose the double top drop. This level was the lower boundary of a past resting phase in a bullish continuation from early to mid 2015. A double bottom takes place slightly over 2620, but still within the recent lower range in line with the resting phase range from the early to mid 2015 bullish continuation. This recent double bottom shifts bullish momentum higher for another trip towards the upper longer term range boundary in the 30s after easily overcoming the 3025 barrier. A major uptrend develops following the break and a successful foothold established over 3560 in late 2016. Watch closely at 87 as general three methods rising price action is in progress amid significant volatility. The recent bearish harami puts an end to three methods rising price action development. It is a steady drop heading right through the 81 to 7410 range. That is also a gap up range. Crucial support is expected from the 7410 to 7150 range. That would constitute a gap fill. The strong drop turns out to be from a double top that may have been difficult to identify at first, due to the less defined minor upswing from the January 12th drop and rise back up to 87. It is the classic double top, but the M shape is more compacted on the left side. At the same time, this creates a spread out triple top, focusing on the 87 level. As expected, major support is found upon filling in the gap. There was certainly a large and less strict triple top range, but it didn't complete under ideal circumstances. Even though there were sharp drops under it into the first half of 2018, there were crossings under the lower 70s gap that constituted the lower boundary of the triple top range. However, this area wasn't immediately breached. Similar to candle patterns, the longer it takes for a chart pattern to complete at a key range, the less reliable it becomes. The gap fill also played a role in this delay. There was increased volatility into 2018, and this created larger candles. It led to the triple top range reducing in effectiveness even more. Excellent example of a gap fail to save an early uptrend that happens to originate from a large and slightly declined inverse head and shoulders. This also happens to take place on the old mid 30s range that would naturally offer major long term support due to the major activity around those prices in the past.